Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we will see how we can configure NFS server and NFS client. Before doing any configuration, first we need to understand how NFS server and NFS client communicate with each other. Here I have one simple diagram which will show you uh, uh, on that basis I will also configure the lab and it will also show you the concept how it's communicate. Let's say you have NFS server and you will create a file system which will be uh, which will be on the NFS server and this you will export and the server IP for this 192.168.1.105 and this will be shared over a network and once you go to the NFS client there you will be see, you will able to see this exported mount point system on the NFS client and you can use here uh, on this IP address 192.168.1.106 so how this nfs server and nfs client communicate with each other you need to build a file system and export it and this exported file system you have to mount it on the nfs cl client and then after mounting you can use it so let's see what are the things we have to do before doing it so here we have already one server okay so let's see first of all we have nfs services started or not nfst so no we don't have so what we what you need to do you need to install yum install nfst nothing to do let's see we have mount point is mounted or not okay we have already mounted yum install nfs <laughs> So install mutil. Yes. Okay, let's see whether the service is started or not. Okay, started and you can see it's a disable on reboot. Let's make it unable because if we let's say server get rebooted, it won't be able the services won't be start and it might cause problem. So we had made it uh, enabled uh, at the boot time. Okay, so next step we have to check whether your firewall is running or not. System CTL status firewall D. So in, in my case uh, firewall is not running so you no need to worry about it and let's say if it is if it is running then you need to uh, uh, enable or add the permanent rule inside the firewall D to firewall D to allow mount RPC bind and export export FS commands to whitelist inside the firewall d okay as it's disabled already on my system so i am not going to do this one so let's let's create one file system which is mkdir maybe create nf nfs server okay change the permission 70770 nfs server no such file sorry it should be slash change the permission we should be nobody and uh, root nfs server okay after this you, what you need to do there is one configuration file etc export fs exports here the entry uh, the directory name nfs nfs server and the ip address which was which was this one the client ip address which was 168 192.168.1.107 bracket read write and sync okay now try to see uh, see 
see the export fs command yes you can see this is exported host host name server 1 and the ip address is 105 105 is our nfs client as per the document as per the document this is our 105 is a server okay so now let's go back to the server and uh, so this is a client host name uh, server 2 <coughs> ip address is 192.168.10c first of all you should be able to tell net on the server which is triple one okay, it's connecting that means it's working fine and uh, let's do one thing check the services on this server system ctl status nfs okay we we have services over here so let's enable it and start it it's running now and see what are the mount point you are able to get you need to type the ip address of the nfs server 1.105 so you can see nf from nfs server which is 105 you are able to see nfs server this directory okay let's do one thing mount hyphen t nfs uh, the server name and this is a mount point name and okay you need to create first one directory mkdir let's let's create it uh, nfs client okay copy this command let me clear the screen and nfs nfs client mounted okay so let me write over here let me go inside permission denied okay so i think i don't have permission so let me check Okay, let's go to the server something wrong go inside and list view the permission nfs server nobody see it just for testing purpose give 777 nfs server let's see is able to access or not cd nfs let me restart the services system ctl restart nfs okay now it's able to go inside that means the permissions or uh, the user ownership our and permission one of these was the reason to uh, not to not to access the uh, nfs client at the servers at the client side okay so let's see whether you are able to create any files any files of files or directories over here so i have created just file one and uh, i think mkdir test one okay it's working let's see at the server side is it the same and then first nfs server so you can see here also at the server side it's the same thing that we created at the client side and, the, and this is a way how you can configure the nfs server as well as nfs client few packages which was already installed on the nfs client which i have already done in case in your case if it is not installed please 
proceed to install it otherwise you won't be able to run the show mount command so guys if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and like button for the uh, to make it uh, most like video thank you very much thanks for watching bye